हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव गिवन अ वेरी शॉर्ट ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू वॉट इज ऑटिजम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू द कॉजेज ऑफ ऑटिजम एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर रिसर्च वॉट वी हैव फाउंड आउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉजेज ऑफ ऑटिजम सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट वॉट इज द कॉज ऑफ ऑटिजम वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द नॉर्मल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ ब्रेन In our brain, there are millions of neurons, and each neuron is connected to another neuron through a junction, and this junction is called as the synapse. In this synapse, what happens is that when a stimulus is coming from a nerve at the junction, there is a neurotransmitter being released. This neurotransmitter jumps from one nerve ending to the another nerve ending, and then the stimulus is taken further. so this is a normal mechanism of brain and in our brain when millions of neurons are interconnected with each other so that the stimulus which is there in front of us reaches to our brain in the shortest and the fastest way so as the child grows the brain is constantly learning constantly developing and it is taking various stimulus from the environment and it is developed it is functioning so that the stimulus is reaches to the brain in the shortest and the fastest way as our brain starts learning the pathways or the neurons which are taking the stimulus to the brain in the shortest and fastest way are getting strengthened and the nerves which does which are taking a longer route are being shaded off this is called as synapse pruning means the best neurons are being strengthened and the weaker neurons are being shaded off and this is done from the various stimulus which a child is exposed to in his environment and the brain learns this is called as the learning of the brain however what we have seen that in the early period when the child is 12 months old 15 months old at that moment if the stimulus to the brain are too much and the child is constantly seeing various stimulus then the brain does not get a chance to strengthen the good nerves and to shred the weaker nerves means i'll explain you as a child if the child is exposed to a lot of screen a lot of videos or lot of mobile the child is constantly 8 to 10 hours of the day is exposed to stimulus which means that the visual stimulus is constantly being exposed and the auditory stimulus the hearing is also constantly being exposed so these nerves are constantly working and the brain does not get a chance to shred off or to remove the weaker nerves because in such children all the nerves are constantly being stimulated and being active so shredding of the nerves is not happening which means that the synapse pruning is not happening and friend this is the main cause of autism which we are seeing today in this pandemic what has happened is that every parent was there was work from home and every parent was busy in his office work the child the 10 year month old child or the 12 month old child the 1 and 1/2 year old child was left alone he was not having an exposure to the outside world because they were confined to home and to prevent that what they were doing is they were constantly being given the screen the mobiles to keep them occupied what happened is in this bargain is that all their nerves were constantly being stimulated imagine what we see when we see a mobile there is a visual stimulus constantly going on and also there is a auditory stimulus constantly going on so what happened in this children the brain of these children all the nerves were constantly active 
so the brain did not get chance to strengthen the nerves which relays the information in shortest and fastest way and consequently all the nerves in the brain were active so these children what happened is that when they become 2 year old their visual stimulus and the auditory stimulus did not get strengthened they remain weak and that is why the main symptom in autism what we see is that they cannot see mind you it is not that they cannot see it is actually the stimulus now the brain is so tired and so much confused that they are not accepting this visual stimulus properly so what they are doing is they are looking at you but they are not looking at you they are not making an eye contact similarly the auditory senses is also weakened the brain did not get chance to strengthen the good auditory nerve fibers and shredding the weaker auditory nerve fibers all the nerve fibers are working and hence the auditory is also weakened auditory is weakened means what is happening when you call this child by their name they are not able to hear it is not that their hearing is deficient because mind you they are able to hear the music they are able to hear the other sound in the environment but the human frequency sound is not registering in their brain and that is why we found these two or three main symptoms of autism is not making an eye contact not responding to your norm and not following the command so friends the main cause of autism is the synapse pruning which was supposed to start at the age of 18 months or 2 years it not started it is not functioning it is not active and hence the brain does not get a chance to learn now how do we handle this problem friends so the first first thing what you should do if your near or dear one is suffering from autism is reduce the screen time to zero many parents they come and say that okay if i don't give my child a mobile he does not eat friends it's okay if your child does not eat is not going to hamper anything but the mobile the screen is a poison from him and if you give him poison you are not allowing the child to recover you are not allowing his brain to develop so the first thing what you should do is stop the screen time for the child make the screen time completely zero no screen time and then you have to stimulate you have to restart the brain to start the process of synapse pruning means the brain which has stopped the process of pruning the synapses you have to restart and what best homeopathic medicine has got this potential and power to restart the synapse pruning it has got the potential to restart the process of brain to strengthen the fibers strengthen the nerves which are taking a stimulus from point a to point b in the fastest and the shortest way and the neurons which are weaker which takes longer time or longer way to cut them off to shred them off pruning is a same process as we do when we want a tree to grow we prune the tree so that the tree grows properly similarly this is a natural phenomena for the brain to prune its synapses and make the child intelligent so friend the main cause of autism is that the synapse pruning which was supposed to start at the age of 18 month does not start and it gets stopped so friends what you have to do is cut down the screen time and give him some natural remedies or some natural stimulus in such a way that the process of spinous the synapse pruning again restart restarting the process will help your child to recover almost 100% and in our practice in our experience we have seen that with this effort yes we can reverse autism so thank you friends for watching this video if you have any comments or doubt on synapse pruning or autism please write in the comment box we will be happy to help you or to address your problem in next series of videos we are again going to talk on types of autism and other 
symptoms of autism and the explanation of why a child is doing a repetitive movement like flapping the hands or rocking so subscribe to this channel and continue watching this video thank you very much